Hi, this video is for um, installing into SuperCollider one of your quarks, or uh, in this particular case, the Arduino library. These are external extensions or libraries that can be added to your SuperCollider uh, environment, so you can use them. Um, probably the easiest way to do this, to install the Arduino, is to um, go through the quarks system. So there's a number of ways also to access the Quark system. I'll just show you the one. If you just type quarks.gui and you evaluate that, command return, you get this nice GUI. And then you simply check the Arduino and hit apply. And um, you know I already have it installed, but then you would install it. And then you can, uh, you can recompile the class library for that to take effect. And then should you be able to use Arduino? Uh, I don't think there's a help file. Uh, right. Okay. Well, in any case, that will be should be installed for you. Okay. Uh, another way to do this is manually. So, if for whatever reason that Quark's system isn't working for you, if you go to their GitHub page, there's a SuperCollider Quark's GitHub page in Arduino. You can download the zip. Uh, well, let's go ahead and do that. And then you know, open the zip up. I'm pretty sure this is a similar process cross-platform. Obviously, I am doing this in a Mac. All right. So you have this Arduino uh, master. And then in with from within SuperCollider, you can run this platform dot system extensions dir. Now this will just print down here in the post window the actual directory, and you'll see it's and this is pretty standard library application support SuperCollider extensions. And at least in the Mac, you go to the Finder. And then I would hit, what is it, Alt, and then Go. As I was holding Alt, these these extra menu items. Right? Right, so, uh, anyways, uh, sorry. Uh, right, Finder. Hold the Alt key, and then you're gonna go to, oops, Library, and then there's Application Support, and it's super cluttered somewhere here. And then there's an extensions. If the extensions doesn't exist, you can go ahead and create one that's called extensions. And then you would just pop that into extensions. In my case, the quarks, it's already in the quarks folder, Arduino. Okay. Uh, so in other words, you can just copy that file, Arduino master, into your extensions folder. Okay. And that's a manual install. All right. And that, that goes for any quarks. There are another set of plugins called SC3 plugins, um, and that's a similar process, uh, except they don't have this Quarks, this built-in Quark system, so you would have to go manually, and you can just go to uh, Super Collider um, SC3 plugins. Okay. And in the case of SC3 plugins, there is a, um, a SourceForge binary for um, for the Mac. Okay. Oh, I guess it has Windows as well. Yeah. Okay. So that so that's kind of nice. It has these uh, pre bits. So that's just like an installer. Otherwise, it gets a little bit more complicated if you go to the GitHub page here, because then you have to uh, do a build. There's instructions on how to do it, but you have to get into the terminal and do a do a build, a make and a build, okay? But that's a possibility too. And of course, you can, uh, some um, developers let you have their plugins individually, and then you can just install them the same way into this platform's extension, system extensions directory, all right? The same way I installed, manually installed the Arduino. You just find that extensions folder, and then you just pop those, those ones that you've downloaded in there, all right? Okay, well, good luck with that.